What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another reading for the Collective. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully amazing. Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance on our current situation. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you, Spirit. So you guys know the name of the game. We're going to get into the cards. We're going to see who's in our energy, anything we don't see coming, any updates or progress on our current situations, um, the usual, you know. I'm going to pull three cards for overall energy. All right, let's get into it. Page of Wands. The High Priestess. And the Ace of Cups. Bottom of this deck, we have the Knight of Cups. So, I mean, for overall energy, this is great. Um, you know, the reading we had yesterday was great, too. Uh, yesterday evening. Uh, but Page of Wands, it talks about the news. The High Priestess, you know, a lot of you are in this energy, man or woman. You know, uh, very spiritual, tapped in. Um, the Ace of Cups, this talks about, you know... It's a huge cup of love. It could be a passionate, passionate new beginning in love. Uh, you can talk about self-love, uh, being open to love, possessing love. Um, then the Knight of Cups, you know, that's somebody coming. And this in the upright. That's somebody coming towards you, making a love offer with good intentions. <laughs> it's really good overall energy. Um, I did pre-shuffle this deck. We're going to jump to the spread. All right. Three of Swords. King of Cups in reverse. Obsessed. Queen of Swords in reverse. Four of Cups in reverse. The Star. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Judgment. Knight of Swords in reverse. And Twin Flame. Here we go. Here we go. Y'all. <laughs> All right. First card out we have is the Three of Swords. You know, the Three of Swords talks about deep emotional pain. It talks about heartbreak, you know, uh, grief, sorrow. Uh, it feels like grief. Somebody lost something or somebody lost somebody. Uh, somebody got their heart broke. Three of Swords is clarified by Five of Cups. Eight of Swords. Temperance in reverse. Vampire in reverse. Somebody lost their freedom. Y'all don't know what situation this is. Somebody is, uh, somebody's really emotional right now. Somebody is very much emotional right now. It's a masculine energy. Uh, King of Cups in reverse, which is, you know, an emotionally unstable masculine. Um, somebody's heart, somebody is, uh, distraught like somebody is um, going through it emotionally and full of regret you know somebody did some man this masculine has done something this is a masculine energy can be a man or a woman this person has done something that has incriminated them could have done something illegal three of swords five of cups and eight of swords you know they've done something that has entrapped them you know they're full of regret now because they could be going to jail. You know, I don't feel, I don't get the energy of like a mental prison. I get the energy of like, you know, bars and orange jumpsuits. Orange is the new black. So, uh, yikes. Yeah, this person's extremely imbalanced. Um, it feels like devastation. Like this person's devastated. Could be drinking a lot, could be doing drugs, self-indulging. Um, you know, if this this person could be, maybe this person was like an energy vampire. 
you know, uh, or they've released one. One of the two, either this person was an energy vampire and they're, they don't want to be anymore, they can't be anymore, or they've released one. This energy is a King of Cups in reverse. Like I said, King of Cups in reverse, this person is a masculine energy, can be a man or a woman. This person is emotionally unstable, codependent, temperamental, jealous, insecure. King of Cups in reverse is clarified by Two of Swords in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The Fool. King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this is somebody that was indecisive. You know, I can't tell exactly about what yet. Uh, we'll get into it. But uh, this is somebody, you know, Two of Swords in reverse. You know, at one point, they were indecisive. You know, could have been really indecisive about you. Uh, could have been indecisive about, you know, the, the decisions that they were making. You know, um, if this is somebody you were involved with, they were indecisive about you. They didn't know what they wanted to do. Uh, whatever, or it could be whatever has, you know, this person in trouble. Whatever crime they committed or whatever they did, you know, they were probably indecisive about it. And now they made a decision like, uh, or they made a decision and it was the wrong decision, clearly, you know. But yeah, this person made a decision and it cost them, you know, a great deal. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, this talks about, you know, a person's life decreasing in a major way. Talk about the loss of a job, some money, um, abundance, prosperity, the, the loss of wealth, the loss of a blessing. Yeah, then we have the fool, you know, this person, they chose a new path. You know, they either chose a new path or they want to choose a new path. Um, I feel like this person could also be carrying King of Swords and reverse energy. This could be somebody else. I think this is uh, another energy this masculine is carrying. Um, but I don't know. This could be somebody else. King of Swords and reverse. This is a narcissist. Masculine energy. Um, this person is very narcissistic, uh, ruthless. You know, they do anything to win. Apparently, this King of Swords in reverse is obsessed. Probably obsessed with winning. Obsessed with themselves, like most narcissists. <laughs> obsessed with themselves. <laughs> obsessed is clarified by Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Wands. Ace of Cups. That was overall energy. Social media in reverse. Yeah, like I said, you know, this, um, this, the, the, the King of Cups and King of Swords can both be the same energy. That person, like I said, they, they're taking a major loss right now. Could be facing some type of jail time or could be, you know, spiritually spiritually locked out, mentally, you know, trapped. Um, this person wants to take a new path. They went somewhere, they took one path, made some mistakes, and they're, they're taking losses now, and they want to take a new path. Um, this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, this is a feminine energy, a karmic feminine energy. This might not be the karmic feminine. I know my last few reads, uh, this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, this has been like a karmic mother. You know, somebody's karmic ass mom that just can't stay in their lane. Uh, that person's obsessed. That person is obsessed with uh, this person's Ace of Cups. And that's what I feel like. If this is a karmic mom, this is somebody's mom that is like super obsessed with their son's love life, who this person's with, you know, who they decide to commit to, who they who they decide to give that cup to. Like, this is a mom that just can't stay in her lane. I get, like, mommy dearest vibes. Um, yeah, this Queen of Pentacles in reverse might want to communicate something real quick. Like, come in with some type of communication real quick. Maybe put something underhanded on social media. We got social media in reverse. Or, or they could have been trying to, you know, communicate something, send a text, send an email, put something on social media, and it didn't go. Or it didn't work out. It was blocked, maybe. Then we have Queen of Swords in reverse. You know, this is a female narcissist. 
somebody ruthless. This could be the karmic feminine. Uh, it is a karmic film. Um, Queen of Swords in Reverse is clarified by the lovers. The devil in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse. High Priestess. This is, like I said, that is a mother. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse, this is a karmic mother. And I feel like this karmic mother is putting some type of pressure. There is a masculine energy that has went somewhere, got trapped, made mistakes, and they want to take a new path. The fool and the upright, they want to take a new path. Because wherever they went, or they got coerced into being, you know, um, they're taking losses and they're not happy. They're in deep regret. This karmic mother wants to communicate something really, really quick. And I feel like this is an attempt to pressure or somehow, you know, keep this masculine trapped in a partnership. Lovers in the upright. You know, this karmic mother wants to, you know, maybe, you know, maybe have this masculine go public with this relationship, with this karmic, or they want to communicate something. It's a meddling, I get meddling mom vibes. This is a mother that's, you know, meddling in something that doesn't concern them. But I really feel like, you know, this person, this masculine energy is already vibing low, you know, distorted, uh, king of swords in reverse. So, you know, technically this queen of swords in reverse will be their counterpart. And there's like a mom, like I said, there's, you know, this gold digging, uh, materialistic, superficial mother that is like hell bent on keeping these two, keeping this masculine with this, this karmic film. That's what I feel. You know, but I get the energy of somebody that does not, this person, this masculine energy doesn't want, this is not what that person wants. I feel like that person wants to release you know, uh, a devil energy could be his mama, could be, you know, the other woman, uh, or the other man, you know, whatever the case. Um, yeah, because they're not emotionally fulfilled. They probably want to release this karmic ass family too. Ten of cups in reverse. This is the family card. This is like an energy that probably wants to release their karmic ass family too. You know, lead this person down the wrong path. Then we have the high priestess. That was overall energy as well. Um, in the upright. Maybe this person wants to release the karmic family, release the, the devil energies for a high priestess energy. You know, or this person could be using their intuition. You know, but for that to be like overall energy and, you know, come out in the upright here. This is like collective energy. This is, uh, this is one of y'all. It's somebody. <laughs> you know, high priestess, somebody tapped in very spiritual being yeah because this, this is somebody that regrets you know um they're disappointed in how things they're disappointed when it comes to this high priestess you know four of cups it talks about rejection disappointment um something you know to do with this high priestess four of cups in reverse is clarified by intuitive care like somebody's using their intuition when it comes to a high priestess Trash box, trash bag. <laughs> Two of Pentacles in reverse. Hierophant. This person feels like a trash box, trash bag because they married. They went and they either married or made some other type of high level commitment, you know, a blood trauma bond, a blood, uh, you know, a uh, ritual or something. I don't know. They did something and they are, you know, at the Two of Pentacles, imbalance, having money issues. You know, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Two of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that's like having difficulty budgeting, you know, the funds. This is somebody that feels like a clown. This person, and that's that Five of Cups. They're in deep regret. They feel like a clown for getting themselves in this situation. Like I said, could have been, a, it could be a marriage. And I feel like this messy ass, meddling ass, karmic mother wants them to go public with it. Like to go on social media with it. But this masculine is just not feeling it. Like they, this is this is the masculine energy of you know somebody that wants to just cut everybody off. Like this guy or this girl, they're like they just they ready to cut everybody off. Like I say, ten of cups in reverse, they ready to cut the, the family off. The devil in reverse, anybody in that toxic energy, they ready to cut their asses off too. 
you know, and this is somebody intuitive, Kevin, the upright, and the high priestess. Baby, hey, hey, this is somebody using their intuition, you know. High priestess and I Kev, intuitive Kev. This is somebody tapped in. They like really like catching the signs, catching the synchronicities. Which I mean, at this point, if you don't, if this person don't see it now, <laughs> if, if this person, if they don't see it now, they, they, they never were going to see it. Because, yeah, the thing is, I feel like it's too late. You done already married the she-devil. Like, you done already married the devil energy, son. You know, it's a little too late to get off that bus, buddy. Now you got to pay alimony. You know, like, <laughs> that's why this person feels like a clown. They feel like a clown. They feel like a bozo. If you're in this situation as a masculine, keep your head up. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I pray for you. We pray for you. Collective pray for you. Uh, you know, uh, pray. Pray about it, you know, and uh, make better decisions, you know. Now that you're using your intuition, don't let that go. Hold on to that, you know. It will serve you well. Uh, this is tough. Because some it feels like devastation. Somebody's trapped in something. Could be going to jail about something, but they are definitely trapped. Like, ain't no way out. <laughs> like, they ain't got, <laughs> got this man in the house and lock the door. You know, and it's one of them locks, they got a key. You know, like, you can't just turn, the, turn it and get on out. Yeah, you need a key. Like this <laughs> oh, that's not funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> man... Then we have the star. You know, the star talks about wish fulfillment, your most desired outcome as an energy. This person is, you know, this is collective energy all day. This is a star seed, the chosen one, you know, um, somebody with a very, you know, exuberant. This person's light shines bright like a diamond. It's collective energy. The star is clarified by eight of pentacles. Strength. The hangman in reverse. Hater. I feel like this is somebody who is seeing, you know, that this person clearly did not get wish fulfillment. So the star is not talking about wish fulfillment. This person is looking or thinking about a star energy. One of the collective, and this person, if, if they're watching you, which in most cases they are, you know, working on your profiles, if you create content, they watching, um, they might drive past your house, whatever the case. Uh, this is somebody who has been watching you, collective, and they have seen how your light shines. They have, she they have seen you shining like a diamond. They have seen the strength that you possess, because in a lot of cases, this masculine and or, you know, the karmic film, uh, they did a lot to defeat you, to betray you, to break your spirit, to break your confidence, to keep you off your destined path. And you did not, you didn't falter. You didn't fall. You know, you kept kept it pushing. You stood in your power. Called your power back. You stood in your faith. You stayed prayed up. Kept your eyes on the prize. Eight of Pentacles. Kept working. Kept your head down and kept working. And somebody's been watching you and they've seen this. Seen that strength you possess. Seen how hard you're working. Seen that light shining. Baby, bright. I think this is somebody who's been enlightened. Hangman in reverse. They've been enlightened to who you are. If they didn't know, they don't know. Like, oh, damn. That was really, that was really a star scene. Oh, damn. That was an effort. That was an effort. Like, yeah, buddy. This is somebody that was hating on you, though. Unless we didn't jump on that Carl McFem again. This is this is still the masculine energy, though. This is somebody that was hating on you. You know, maybe in the past they were hating on you. Because you do shine so bright. Because you do possess so much strength. You know, especially if you're like a feminine, like, or an actual, you know, even feminine energy or an actual woman. And this is like a man or a masculine energy. They was hating. Because they're supposed to be stronger than you, you know. They're supposed to be able, and this, if this is somebody, 333 on the clock, because I say this. But if this is somebody that was trying to defeat you, you know, or trying to break you, and they couldn't, you know, that person, yeah, they damn sure hate me. Like, how the fuck? Like, how the hell is she stronger than me? Some bullshit. You know, oh, hate nays. That's why you're going through karma. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that was not trustworthy. They lied to you. 
They were not reliable. You know, not dependable. Didn't move with integrity. I get the energy of somebody who broke a lot of promises. You know? Like, you can't trust shit this person say. You probably didn't. Yeah, King of Swords in reverse, that's a liar. <laughs> that's a whole liar. Swords, any sword in reverse is a liar. Knight of Sword in reverse. This is a liar. This masculine energy was a whole lie. Woke up, wake up, tell a lie. He said, tell a lie before he brushes his teeth. Uh, Knight of Pentacles in reverse is clarified by legal issues in reverse. I said somebody going to jail. Ascension. <laughs> they gonna get right. <laughs> he gonna get right in prison though. Gonna get his mind right. He gonna see him in prison. Seven of Cups. The Sun. It's a long road. And I'm not, you know, I'm not condemning this person to any type of, you know, judgment. That's God. You know, that's God's uh, arena. You know, God said that we'll, we will have justice. We will have vindication. Vengeance is the Lord's. So he, he got that covered. But I think this person has wishful thinking. They have wishful thinking that they can be a habitual liar, a compulsive liar. They can, you know, do whatever they did to get in these legal issues. And they're still going to ascend and be happy. It's like wishful thinking. You know, Seven of Cups can talk about wishful thinking. They have wishful thinking that, you know, after they've racked up all this karmic debt, that they can still be happy, have growth, expansion, and still ascend. Which, I mean, I'm not going to say that they can't. You know, it's going it, to, they're not going to do it tomorrow. You know, that's not happening tomorrow. Not for this person. Uh... It's not happening. You know what? Hey, all things are possible through Christ. So, I mean, hey, uh, I really think this person had, they, they, yeah, they have wishful thinking that, you know, they could somehow slide into ascension. So, you know, skate around karma and slide into ascension. Nah, that wasn't going to happen. Uh, this person, what they are going to slide into is some judgment. <laughs> Baby, judgment in the upright. Being judged for the things you've done, whether right or wrong. Baby, that's what they sliding into. Uh, judgment is clarified by hidden enemy. Yeah, this is somebody that might have been working against you. Sneaky lying ass. Yeah, this person receiving bad news. Page of wands in reverse. That was overall energy too. Every card we have for overall energy has come out. Oh, this could be this Queen of Wands in reverse. This Queen of Wands in reverse was damn sure a hidden enemy. You know? She needs so much, and she mad. <laughs> I feel the heat rolling off of that one. This person's mad. This Queen of Wands in reverse. Oh, look at all these wand cards. This Queen of Wands in reverse was a hidden enemy. Was working against you, probably working against your, well, yeah, working against your masculine for sure. Uh, page of wands in reverse. This person's receiving bad news. They were a hidden enemy. Was working against you and your person. Hidden enemy. Now they're receiving bad news. This queen of wands. And they're mad. You know, five of wands talks about tension, conflict, chaos. You know, uh, they're probably fighting with everybody around them. Because they draw, you know, in a lot of cases, this feminine energy drug a whole bunch of outsiders into their karma. Pulled them right on in. So, you know, there's a lot of conflict around this person. A lot of people fighting with this person right now. And this person's mad. I get the energy mad because, uh, you know, whatever competition they thought they had with you in their head, it's clear who won that. You know, um, yeah, because this person's up to their eyeballs in karma. This feminine, this uh, karma feminine, this queen of wands in reverse. <laughs> hey, baby, that person ran in somewhere and told a lie. I was a liar, too. Ran in somewhere, probably ran all around the community and told a lie, you know, about you. Or about your masculine, whatever the case. That's all they have was spell work, manipulation, and lies. And sex. Which I'm sure that was trash too. But, uh, Knight of Swords in Reverse is clarified by. Six of Cups. Chariot in Reverse. Nine of Wands. And Knight of Cups. That was overall energy. Like I said, this masculine energy was a liar. 
Every energy with the sword, page of swords, knight of swords, king of swords, they're all in reverse. Even the queen of swords. So these were just people that lied. They told a bunch of lies and that's probably why they're in trouble. It's probably why they're in legal issues. They went somewhere to some little courthouse, you know, filed some false says, paperwork, went and ran into a courthouse, lied on you, lied on somebody. They, they lie. That's what they do. They do energy manipulation and lie and screw, you know. But this is some, um, you know, this is uh, somebody thinking about the past. This masculine energy is thinking about the past, you know, uh, probably looking at old pictures of you and them if they have any you know, uh, reflecting on memory when, when times were good, when they were really good at pretending. Uh, because, because this person doesn't have forward movement right now. They're stuck. This is somebody that's out of control. They were out of control in the way they handled you, for sure. You know, a lot of these jokers didn't even have the, enough, you know, respect to even apologize for it. Once you found they trifling their ass out, they still ain't say sorry. They just want to deny it. They want to lie some more. No, that's not what happened. Here, let me gaslight you a little bit. That's not what happened. Friends of the Nine of Wands, <coughs> facing many obstacles, many burdens that they placed on their own back. They did it. <laughs> they want to come in and offer you a cup. Want to come in. This is the upright, just like it was for overall energy. They want to come in. You know, on their little horse. They want to gallop towards you with that cup of love. You better check what's in it. Make sure they ain't slip nothing. They ain't slip a Mickey in there. Uh, but yeah, they want to come towards you with this Knight of Cups. You know, this cup of love, if that's what we call it. Uh, this person could be your twin flame. Could be. But some of y'all just could be your twin flame. Like two or three reads ago. You know, uh, somebody wanted to get right, you know. Uh, and it was a twin flame. But they did you for dirt. That twin flame did you for dirt. A couple days ago, that, that reading, that was your twin flame. But that person did you for dirt. They was doing uh, money blockages, love blockages. Uh, tried to have you down bad. Like just so they could I have the 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 the, I guess, get have the feeling of coming in and being Captain Save a Ho, swooping in and saving you from some shit that they've set up for you. Like, make that make sense. This person going straight to hell. Well, no, they're going straight to jail. Apparently. <laughs> hey, the sword, they're going straight to jail. The twin flame is uh, clarified by karmic connection. Well, which one is it? Is it a twin flame or a karmic connection? Ten of swords in reverse. Ooh, to the wine, 10, 10, baby. It's a completion, baby. This has been heavy in the readings. Karmic completions. These cycles are closing. You check my last five readings. Any reading I did within the last four, three or four days, it's been, yeah, karmic completion. 10, 10, 10 of wands, 10 of swords. You know, uh, this is finished. A lot of this shit is done. King of wands. King of Wands. If you check the readings, man, my last one, like my morning read, or not my morning read, uh, it's the King of Wands energy that is uh, closing the cycle. This person has carried every other energy, but coming out of that cycle, they're coming out as the King of Wands. In the upright, you know, I mean, I guess, <laughs> that's indicative of change, I guess. You know, <laughs> Baby, bottom of the deck. The tower. Boom! Baby! Oh, no! Yeah, it's bad. It's the, yeah, this person, mm, mm Even if this was your twin flame, you know you know you have other soulmates, right? I would just keep it moving, collective. Just keep it on pushing. Oh, you have the tower, which is a sudden drastic change. This comes out of nowhere. Changes the course of everything. Uh, this tower moment, this gonna knock some socks off. It's the loss of generational wealth. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is the loss of a whole lot of money. This is a financial curse, financial debt, bankruptcy, the loss of a business, the loss of an enterprise. Whatever they whatever they did to you, baby. Whatever they did to everybody. You know, this karma is... That's why. I just said that, Collector. Like I said a couple days ago, there was a masculine... This is it. Same one. This masculine energy did black magic. On your finances. Wanted you broke. So guess what they get? Guess what they get since they wanted to do black magic on your finances. They wanted to do black magic on your money, right? Have you broke. Now that's what they get. That black magic that they did is reversed. Now they broke. They're not going to have no money. Financial curse. And they did it. Even if they didn't do it, they paid a price. Uh, um, how fucking hilarious is that? 
This person more than likely went to a practitioner, paid money to have this practitioner do work on your finances. And now that the same black magic that they paid to have done is what's happening to them. It's becoming their own reality. Well, if that ain't a kick in the head, like you paid for your own, <laughs> you paid to fuck your own shit up. Like I said, cause, cause like, you're not worried about this shit, baby. Where you, I, I cannot make this. Collect. You're not worried about this shit. Because it don't have nothing to do with you anymore. You have stepped out of that karmic cycle. Nine of Cups talks about wish fulfillment, baby. You getting something you want. Maybe a few things you want. Four of Wands. Stability. Security. A new home. A union. Happiness. A family. Ace of Wands. A passionate new beginning, a fresh start, success, opportunity. Ace of Swords, truth and clarity. Everything being exposed. You being vindicated, justice being served, your name being cleared. Everybody who betrayed you getting karma. The Empress, it's yours. This is all for you, boo. Divine Partner. I cannot make this up, Collective. That's exactly how they came out. It's mighty funny, because just a week ago, I was saying, like, you know, and some of y'all was agreeing with me in the live chat. You know, like, when are these readings going to start getting good? We ready to get to the good stuff. Baby. Asking you shall receive. Thank you, God. Praise God. Praise God. Look at all this. Shoot. This 6-7 cards. And they all for the emperors, baby. Nine of Cups, Four of Wands, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Divine Partner. Y'all wanted the good stuff. You wanted the good stuff, Collector? <laughs> it's here, baby. Meanwhile, this old magic doing ass uh, masculine of yours, they wait no ships that's not going to come. Or this karmic masculine you was dealing with, they wait no ships that's not going to come because they keep on doing magic, trying to manifest bullshit. This person is a tyrant and a narcissist. They're stuck in rough waters and cannot move on. Knight of Wands, they thought they were a player. Thought they had was out here pimping holes, doing whatever they do. This person is extremely stressed out. <laughs> stressed out, stressed to the max, sleepless nights, anxiety, depression. They tried to win by deceit, and they failed. You know, really betrayed the wrong person. Really betrayed the wrong person. You got the hell up out of there. Eight of Cups. Like, you know what, I'm out of here. Clam. <laughs> Shit, you got up out of there. This person doing all this sneaky and deceptive shit. Now this, after a failed collaboration, this, this is somebody that want to pray to God and put the streets down. They want to put the streets down and come towards you, Queen of Cups. Why? This was in the, this was, y'all saw my reading yesterday, that a beautiful reading we had yesterday. Why, Collective? Because the odds are in your favor. The will is ever in your favor, beloved. Yeah, this person was coming from a bad place anyway. The most high in reverse, two of wands, they feel really bad about what they did. False person in reverse, their mask has fallen off. Page of swords in reverse, they lied on you. That was my reading yesterday. This, this clown lied on you. Tried to say you wasn't independent. Tried to say you wasn't at the Nine of Pentacles. Now this dumbass want to say sorry because they're ashamed and embarrassed. feel bad for listening to their punk ass friends and this messy ass mama the world the world y'all see man it's the same, the same energy and I'm not the only reader getting this man it's new cycles closing or old cycles closing new cycles beginning it's a wrap shit this person can try all they want to keep that site. Oh, I don't want a permanent ending. Guess what? It's over, clown. Your secrets are out. Goodbye. <laughs> like I said, four swords in reverse. This person could be in bad health. You know, but they brought this on itself. This is somebody. It's justice. You know, justice reverse. This is something they tried to do to you. Wanted you in bad health. Wanted you at the five of pentacles broke without a dime. It was an injustice. Injustice is being served. They're getting back what they put out. And you know, the sooner these dumbass karmics start realizing that, the better off they would be. 
collective remembrance to your power. And a lot of you, if you made it to this point, you already know what's up. You have realized, you know, what's what, who's who, who you are, what the power that you possess. And even if you don't feel you possess it, the power that your God, your heavenly father possesses. Stand in that. Your faith at the end of the day, if you don't have nothing else, have your faith. Have that. And then some of y'all are so righteous. Such beautiful people. You move with integrity. These people betrayed you in the worst ways. And you did not retaliate. You didn't try to get even. They hurt you. Bad. Hurt you in ways unimaginable. Y'all have been through hell. Collective. My heart goes out to you. Because I've been right there with you. We've been through hell. It's not been an easy road. But after all the bullshit you were subjected to, you did not retaliate. You didn't stoop down to that level. You didn't let them break your spirit. That's why you're winning. That's why you deserve everything coming. And you know what? I get the feeling, you know, the last few of my reads have been beautiful. I don't think this is stopping anytime soon, Collector. We ask for the good stuff. We ask for, you know, welcome, beloved, we here. Baby, we here. What's up? Like, what's up? Like, I'm not doing the mistake. I might end up throwing this thing away. We keep having these good reads. Baby. Praise God. Praise God. Angel of Jupiter awakened from Journey of Love. It's such a beautiful thing. You know, justice being served... You know, uh, people like us, like you, getting your just due, you know, getting what you what you should have been had, what you deserve. This is beautiful. Earthed, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. BB. Facts on that. In the world, but not of it. Like I say, when it comes to uh, most of these people around here, we are not the same. I am a Martian, for sure. Most of y'all are too. We not from here, because these people, <laughs> BB. Uncle Ruckus, no relation. These motherfuckers weird. <laughs> weird. They got ways. <laughs> Fuck you in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and you so focused on somebody just minding their business. You know? Staying in the line, but minding their business, doing what the fuck they supposed to be doing. And these people really came for you. And the fact that, like, it was so many, you know, in some of y'all kids, y'all had several people. Several flunkies claim up or uh, click up and try to come for you. If you don't realize why you had multiple people coming for you, you better. You better start to realize it. Stand in your power. Why do y'all, and uh, you know, for some of you that's new and you just got out of that toxic situation, you know, those wounds are fresh. It takes time. You know, don't rush yourself. Heal. Healing is your priority. Like I say, don't try to get even. You know, but that's not in your heart. You're not going to do that. I say vengeance is the Lord's and trust. He go, he gonna make it right. He got your back. He gonna get them back. He can get these motherfuckers back in ways that you you couldn't even imagine. He has the power to do that. So you focus on healing. It gets better. You know, it's about to get better for a lot of y'all. Man, it's time. Angel of Jupiter awaken. Beloved, within you there is magnificence, greatness, and the ability to live bolder, larger, and more exuberantly than you may have ever imagined. Awaken that keen spirit, hungry for adventure and new experience. The angel of Jupiter, the spirit of bold expansion and divine generosity lives within you. Your spirit cannot be made small, but must be free. Start now. Feel the endlessness of your own heart. What can be done today to live bigger? A smile? A yes to that offer of a bit adventure? I'm sorry. Sharing vulnerability without fear? Taking a step forward into the unknown? Daring to imagine that the divine doesn't just happen to you, but happens through you, as you? Embrace the courage of your own open heart and dare to dream, beloved. The bold divine nature within you is calling you to great things. Now is your time to awaken. This oracle holds a message of guidance for you. You are being given an opportunity that can change your life. Don't hesitate to accept it. If you are acting with more assertiveness, more generosity, more playfulness, and more spiritual authority than usual, this is confirmation that this is coming from a genuine place within you. You are experiencing some havoc. If you are experience, experiencing some havoc in your life, 
or a sense that things are changing, this oracle comes as affirmation. Yes, there is change. And yes, you are outgrowing what once was. So you will, so you will be prepared to receive that which is more suited for your next stage of growth. Collective. Angel of Jupiter Awakened. If that didn't hit the nail on the head, I opened up with something like that. Like I said, you know, we closed the cycles, but you know, a lot of us are straddling the line. We don't know if we're ready to cross. You know, we out of that old one, but we ain't fully stepped into the new one. Man, this is saying step. Step into that new cycle. Like, oh. <laughs> Girl, if you don't go, like, <laughs> step into it. Wake up, Jupiter. Hey, beautiful. I love the oracles. Man, the oracles get me every time. Star seed, we have earthed. Baby, I don't know about y'all. That was confirmation for me. I right, just gonna do it, kid. Go on here. Don't stop being scared, kid. All right, Earth. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. The challenge for all souls having a human experience is to be in the world, but not of it. To realize they are souls having a human experience and be fully conscious of it. To have their soul fully embodied their body. People's personalities tend to relate to either transcendence, transcendence or eminence. Those who lean toward trans, transcendence have a longing for the heavens and the metaphysical. They yearn for a personal experience with God and to be lost in the heavens. They're envious of the angels and are more comfortable praying and hanging out in the stars than on earth. Those who tend to lean towards eminence have attached themselves more to earth and their body. They spend more time thinking about things in the physical world rather than connecting with the heavens or their own mystical inner worlds. Being a fully embodied soul, having a human experience means finding the balance between transcendence and eminence, being in the world, but not of it. Most star seeds are drawn towards transcendence. Thanks. They're more comfortable with the angels and the heavens. Life on earth can be more difficult for them. If this is you, you're being reminded that you chose to be a soul in a body on earth and you're being called to focus more of your energies in the physical world to learn how to be human a soul in a human body fully present to what life on earth has to offer you earth like i said if you star see what's up fam yeah i guess we chose we chose to be you know in a human body so got to fulfill this purpose <laughs> baby i mean who would want to be in the heavens you know, kicking it with the angels. You know, closer to God. Hey, me. But, uh, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. I did pick a prayer for you guys. It's one that I've never done before. I don't think I've ever read it. I thought I read this whole book. I guess not, because I found this one. Opened it up, and this was the first page. This is a prayer for the blessing of submitting to the wisdom of God. I'm praying for everybody watching. All my star seeds, all my chosen ones, all my collective, all you beautiful souls, and myself. Lord, teach me wisdom's ways and lead me in straight paths. The Lord's wisdom will save my life. I pray for an understanding heart that is enshrined in wisdom. I tune my ears to your wisdom, Lord, and concentrate on understanding. I do not put my trust in human wisdom, but in the power of God. In you, O oh Lord, lie the hidden treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I listen when those who are older speak, for wisdom comes with age. Lord, your wisdom is more profitable than silver, and its wages are better than gold. Let wisdom multiply my days and add years to my life. Let my house be built by wisdom and become strong through good sense. I will not be foolish and trust my own insight, but I will walk in wisdom and be safe. Let the fruit of my life prove your wisdom is right. Let the fear of the Lord teach me wisdom. I will obey your commands so that I will grow in wisdom. Fill me with your spirit, O oh God, and give me great wisdom, ability, and expertise in all kinds of crafts. Lord, give me wisdom and knowledge to lead effectively. Let those who have gone before me teach me wisdom of old. True wisdom and power are found in you, God. The price of your wisdom, Lord, cannot be purchased with jewels mounted in fine gold. Its price is far above rubies. I will keep silent, O oh God. Teach me wisdom. Your wisdom will save me from evil people and from immoral from the immoral woman. I will embrace your wisdom for its happiness and a tree of is a tree of life to me. I will pay attention to your wisdom, O oh Lord. I will listen carefully to your wise counsel. Give me understanding 
so that your knowledge and wisdom will come easily to me. Grant me wisdom so that I may also have good judgment, knowledge, and discernment. Thank you, Lord, that you will certainly give me the wisdom and knowledge I request. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. That was a good one. Like I said, I've never read that. I just happened to flip flip open a book. That was where I opened. Um, yeah. I will not be impressed with my own wisdom, but I will instead fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Period. You know. Um, I'm gonna close the reading here. I hope this helps. I hope there was some, you know, confirmation, you know, maybe some encouragement, you know, um, you know, if nothing else, thank you so much for being here. Um, I love you guys so much to the moon and back. Uh, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for those confirmations, uh, for the encouraging words, the love and support that you guys pour out to me, that you pour out to each other. Um, you guys are absolutely amazing. You know, you, um, you make somebody's life better, whether you realize it or not. You know, you guys brighten up somebody's life probably every single day. It might be kids. It might be the dog across the street. You know, it might be God. It might be one of your angels, you know, but you seriously, this is, uh, the collective is an amazing group of people. Um, one of you had commented and you gave me, you left me a really heartfelt comment on my video yesterday and I responded to you and everything I said to you was absolutely true. I, I thank you guys so much for being here, for supporting me, for rocking with me. Um, you know, for being you, but I mean, I should be thanking you. You know, I, I want to thank you because I'm honored. I mean, to be among such a group of beautiful individuals. Thank you for even rocking with me. You know, like, <laughs> this is, I love you. I, that's why I tell you guys I love you because I absolutely do. You know, um, to anybody that's donated to the channel, thank you guys so much. It's a really big help and I love you. Um, if you would like to donate to the channel, the links will be in the description box of this uh, video. <laughs> Anybody that gives me those energetic donations, those likes, those comments, those subscribes. Thank you guys so much. It's a really big help and I love you. Uh, to everybody that's been rocking with me since day one, all my old heads. I got a lot of vets. Y'all been with me, you know, the past few months on this, when I started this journey. I love you so much. Thank you for being here. All of my new faces. It's a lot of new people coming in. Welcome. Welcome to the fam. Welcome to the tribe. And I love you. I'm glad you're here. Um, I want to send you guys an abundance of love, light, and healing vibes. You guys are so worthy, so deserving. Don't ever forget it. And as always, I'm Kev, Intuitive Kev, and this has been a reading for The Collective. I'll see you guys later. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.